Hello everyone, I hope you're well. Welcome to snippet number 11. I'm trying to fit them in around a spring clean. I'm actually spring cleaning the whole house and garden. I think I'll be still at it for three weeks. I must admit, my hands are so dry. Anyway, enough waffling. So we're doing our next snippet, which is snippet number 11. And this is four inches by six inches, our normal size for our snippets. And what I'm going to do is a nice quick snippet. Because I'm doing a spring clean, I literally don't have much time, but it's like my little fix of creativity. So I'm using Hickory Smoke Distress Oxide Ink, and I'm just going to drag the ink just down, just onto my card. If you've got a nice dry ink pad, save it for these kind of techniques. So just, there we go. You're just going to drag it down. Don't force it down so you get the square. Tilt it up slightly and just use the edge, the very edge of your ink pad. So this area here, you don't use the whole ink pad. And then what you're going to do is just spritz that with water. Place that on one side, which I've already done. And I've got one that I've done previously. So you can see that it reacts with that water for us. I'm then going to take stamp set 909, which is Garden Notes. An A6 stamp set. Try to remember to leave me plastic in there, then I won't be looking for it. I've actually spring cleaned my craft room and I've put a um, diffuser in and it smells beautiful. So I've got Morning Mist Versafine Claire and I'm just going to ink the stamp. Now I'm not inking the whole thing, I'm just inking a part of that stamp just so that we get a random random stamping so i'm just going to add that here like that and i'm just i'm sort of lifting the sides of the stamp so that i get a more random feel so i'm sort of lifting the sides of the stamp there we go so what i mean by that i'm just lifting that a little bit just so that i get a more random feel to that background which I really like. Okay, let's move that morning mist out of the way. What I want to do then is grab the Alstromeria stamp set, which is stamp set 903, and I'm going to use this floral here, which I absolutely love. And the more I use it, the more I fall in love with it. So let's just move that in the side. Just take that stamp. Remember to use my black ink. So I'm using my Versafine Claire Nocturne, which is the black. And what I want you to do is just stamp three of these out. Stamp three of your flowers out. Preferably not over inking, like I've done. So stamp three of your Alstromerias out. If you only want one, then just stamp one and cut one out. You don't need the circles, just the floral. So if you just want one floral, you just then use one floral. Okay, it's just a beautiful floral. I absolutely adore that. You could add a little bit of colour around the edges and you just make a beautiful card. Right, let's just move that out the way. So what I want to do then, don't race ahead, Tracy. I then want to take stamp set 401, which is the containers stamp set, a really useful stamp set. So an older one, but just because it's an older one doesn't mean it's still not a good one. It's only old because we're told it's old. If you weren't told it was an old stamp set, you wouldn't know no difference. So always pick those old stamps out as well. Remember, you need to use them all. I don't need to cut that out. I've actually got the pot all cut out here. And what I want you to do is I want you to cut the Alstromerias out like this. And I've coloured them with Ecoline pens. And did you know, um, until somebody asked me for the numbers on the brush pens, I had no idea 
they had numbers. So I've used 665 and 657, which is spring green and bronze green. So 657 and 665. And I'll tell you the colours of the red ones that I used in the previous snippet if I have time. So I've just coloured those and left the foliage white. So you've got one whole one, one with just a single flower, one with the flower cut shorter and the little flower. So you're just cutting a selection of foliage. What I want you to do then is take your pot and I'm just going to add, this is a HB pencil, nothing more, a 2HB pencil. And what I'm doing is I'm literally scribbling so i'm just scribbling this you can see there's no it's just scribbled literally scribbled it's got rough edges and everything i'm then going to use a paper stump just to smooth that out just to smooth that out now the idea when you color with a hb pencil is that you build the layers and you just take your time to build those layers. Obviously, in a 15 minute snippet, I don't have time. I have to do, you know, any building of colour afterwards. But the idea is the snippet is, like me, if you're doing a spring clean and you haven't got long, you can still get your fix of creativity plus... I don't want them stamps lying around on that shelf gathering dust. I want you to use them. So what you end up then is you get a little bit of shading. What I'm going to do then is take the stamp set again with the grey, the background stamp we used before. And it's got lots of little bits of text in the background. And I'm just going to add... A little bit of text i just love that look at that i absolutely love touches like that i adore them so then i'm just going to bend my pot just a little bit like so just so that we can place it here like this so i haven't you'll have to bear with me The person that spring cleaned put everything away, including her glue. So we'll just place a little bit of pin flare. Now remember, you can't add too much pin flare or ultra thick gel medium because you don't want it to stick up too much. What I'm going to do then is arrange my florals. So I'm just going to add a little bit of adhesive to one of the flower heads. I'm not going to add it to the other flower. A little bit of adhesive. So I want this flower to be loose, this flower here, just so that I can manoeuvre that around should I wish. So let's, so you're just going to just add a little, we'll add some lines for the stems shortly. You're going to play around now. So what I'm going to do is just cut away the leaves on this one and just add a little bit of glue. Don't forget, don't have it sticking up too much because you've obviously got that. Let's have this through there. So just think about your arrangement and i love that that green with that gray there we go so then i'm going to take the next flower and i've made this a little bit smaller just so it adds to my composition because you wouldn't have a flower you wouldn't have them all the same length now you're going to have to just play around just with your stems etc but obviously I have less time than you do so just add a little bit to there a little bit there we go 
but it just looks lovely when you play around with everything because you end up with a lovely composition just beautiful just beautiful what i want you to do then is just as add your white splatters now just just where you can see it on the gray there's no point putting it on the white card where you can't see it just so that you can see and then what you're going to do is just add a little bit of shading with your HB pencil. This is just a two HB pencil. And I'm just using a paper stump just to, just to blend that out. I'm then going to just grab my stamp set, which says, uh, go where your dreams take you. So we can just add that. Again, it doesn't take long for me to trash my um, craft room. In fact, it takes about two minutes to, to trash my craft room. I'm just looking for a little piece of card and I'm going to use that black ink. You don't need to press very hard with these little fine stamps, especially when they're just sentiments. You don't need to press them. You don't need to press too much at all. So it's entirely up to you. I'm going to add this here and I'm just going to add little black edge just so that stands out a little bit more just remember with that black edge just give it a little bit of time just to dry and i'm just checking my time 12 is that a blue ink can't find anything and what i'm going to do is just draw in some some makeshift make believe stems so just do a bit of doodling so it looks like you've got a little bit of stems in there then add your sentiment like so and all I want to do is add a little beard, which I won't have time for because I won't have time to cut the beard out. But just so that you can see that. That's your snippet, but I would add... I'm going to add the little beard from here. I'm going to add the little beard just on top of here, just to add a little bit more interest. Now, what, have I got one minute yet? Yeah. Let me just grab them. So in my last one, I used... Oh, crikey. I used Scarlet, which is number 334 in the brush pen, and Reddish Brown, which is 422. Because I was asked when I did this snippet, which is snippet number 10, I added the sentiment afterwards and I added a little bit of moss as well because I thought that looked quite nice. So I added a little bit of moss. So this is your snippet, snippet number 11. And I'm just going to add the beard just to go with that. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Love to all. And I'm going to get back to, bring, to spring cleaning. Whoopie doo. <laughs> See you all soon. Bye for now.